What's up, everybody? It's Joe with Stevens Brothers Construction. Thanks for stopping in. We're going to show you how we knock down a load bearing wall and put a beam in. This is uh, an addition we were doing, and we're going to be removing the stucco off here, the studs, and then installing this 3.5 by 12 paralam. It's about 18 feet long. So what we're going to do is we start with taking off all the plastic that we had up because we previously demoed this and we're going to take out the nasty insulation as well. It was pretty bad. Should always wear a mask. We don't in here because we're idiots, but always wear a mask. Stuff is uh, hectic to say the least. So you can see there's electrical in there and we'll uh, go about that in a little bit. Okay, so the insulation's out, and now you can see my dad prying off the stucco. We demoed the drywall from the inside so we can knock it, and then uh, the stucco from the inside is easier if you knock it, and then my dad's prying, and me and my brother on the other side yank uh, some pretty big pieces off, so. Here you can see Jeff's clipping a wire. Don't just do that. We know where all that's going, and we killed the main feed to it. Also, you'll watch my dad's cutting the uh, underground copper, the old slab plumbing. We killed that and moved the sink overhead with PEX, so no more underground plumbing on that side of the house for the homeowners, which is way better. So here you can see what we're doing. We're starting to put the top plate in, and my camera, of course, was not adjusted because I need to get a better one. So sorry about that, but what we do is we find the ceiling joist and we're screwing, you can see Jeff on the left, screwing in the top plate into the joist. And uh, here he's gonna give it to me and I'm gonna do the same. And then uh, we'll screw it off on every single one pretty much. And then there's a bottom plate as well. So it's just like a standard stick framed wall. And here you're gonna see I'm just measuring. My dad's going to cut some studs in the background and throw in. And we're going to put a stud on every single joist so it supports in the right areas. And what that's going to do, there we go. So you can see I have the top plate and then I have the studs. You can see metal clips on the existing wall that I'm pointing to. That's where the trusses run perpendicular to that wall. And you can see there's a stud on every single one. So all we are doing is building a temporary wall back about three feet so we can take out the existing. Walls over here, you already explained how we got used to these on each truss. So basically I can remove this wall and nothing's gonna happen over here. We already eliminated all the electrical we could. This will cut and move for the electrician to handle. And I'm pretty much just gonna go straight across the middle, pull them out, and we'll You'll see on the video, we'll put the beam in, post, reframe it, and then we can remove that whole temp wall, and this whole room will be suddenly open to the old kitchen. All right, so we're removing all the studs on the existing. Now that our ceiling is held up by our temp wall, it's safe to take all the existing out. You can see us doing that, of course, in fast motion. Like I said, we cut the electrical and then there's a little bit of it existing on the right and we'll move that to the side for the electrician to handle. But we killed the feed that uh, got most of them out of the way. So, All right, so here we are measuring for the beam. And I actually measured this twice. I don't show it in the video, but I made sure. So all the nails from the studs up top are cut. And then we're going to measure this and I usually cut these about a quarter inch shy so it gives you an eighth each way for the beam. And here we go bringing it in. This is the paralam and it's actually not too heavy believe it or not. So we didn't get a beam lift on this. Me and my brother end up lifting it up and you'll see that in a second. So we get it in place. Should be able to push it side to side and tilt it up. And here you'll see me and my brother are shouldering it and then we have pre-cut 4x4 posts that go under and you'll see my dad's going to slip one in here 
And that one's kind of tight, but you can see how there's a gap on this one. And that's because we're hand lifting, so it's not going to lift the uh, load of the wall up. So what we do is we cut that one tighter, and it actually will push the beam and push the trusses up right where we want them. Because there's a camber in that beam a little bit, they're not always perfect. So when you're lifting it by hand, you got to hit those in tight so it pushes it up. And that's what we did here. So now you can see, now that the beam's in, that's going to carry the load, and we're going to take out the temp wall. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you've got a wide open space ready to go. So there you have it, guys.